What is up guys, this is Zero Talk, and today I'll show you the first look on Transformers 5, The Last Night. Michael Bay announced that this month, in June, the production for Transformers 5, The Last Night, has begun. And with uh, the beginning of the production, we have our first look on some of the Transformers. Michael Bay released, as far as I know, two little teasers to the movie in which we just have a look on Optimus' face and then there comes the, the logo, Transformers The Last Night. Really nothing spectacular just the um, but still it is an exciting since we have our first look on Optimus and another one where we see apparently Megatron and then the logo so um, yes and with this teaser Michael Bay also has said Megatron is back so yes he um, both of them have a different look a new look and Especially Megatron looks different, I think so, he looks different. And probably because he got resurrected or just rebuilt one more time because, I mean, Megatron was defeated uh, two times now. The first time in the, in the first Transformers movie. But then in the second, the other Decepticons brought him back to life. And then in the third Transformers movie, he was killed by Optimus. But in the fourth, then the humans built another version of, Op of Megatron. As far as I remember, I haven't seen the fourth movie for a while. And now he is apparently back. Michael Bay himself said this. So yes, I think that... The Optimus looks very cool. I mean, we don't really see everything of him, we only see his face, but the picture of his face is very cool. You'll probably see it um, right now because I'm uh, putting it into the video. Since we got our teaser now, we also know the title of the movie, as I already said, The Last Night. And I don't really know what to think of this. Um, of this title, but the logo doesn't look like machines anymore because you know um, every time in the movie where the Transformers uh, Transformers logo appears, it just transforms itself into the logo as it was a machine uh, transformer. But now this new logo, it is way simpler, and you you just see that they. <laughs> went back in time uh, so to say and yes there's also a little sword because of knight and knights had swords so yes and I just think that the Transformers are going back in time as we saw also in the fourth movie um, with the dinosaur um, Transformers so, yes, I just think that in this fifth movie they will just go back in time once again or just reveal some more things about ancient Transformers or something like that. I don't know. This is just speculation because I really don't know what to think of this title. But I'm actually remembering now that the last night the title is probably referring to Optimus Prime as the last night because um, I just remembered that at the end of Transformers 4 there was this um, scene where Optimus Prime took the sword out of the spaceship and fought against this uh, T-Rex Transformer um, in order to tame him and there he said uh, something like um, 
something about that he is the last knight as if I am remembering this well and yes this uh, probably means that in Transformers 5 the last knight we'll probably get to know a bit more about Optimus's story or just the story of Transformers 5 will mainly be about this whole night uh, stuff and we'll get maybe an explanation of who exactly are these knights and or actually were these knights because he's the last knight or how you can can become a knight or something like that and I hope that they'll explain a bit more this whole dinosaur transformers I mean um, we saw at the beginning of Transformers 4 that these were, were actual dinosaurs that were uh, transformed into transformer dinosaurs because of the creators of the transformers but still I don't know if the uh, dinosaurs at the end of Transformers 4 were actually these uh, these dinosaurs and I hope that the fifth movie will explain this a little bit more and I assume that um, this fifth movie will uh, focus on this whole thing with the with the dinosaurs and the night thing and what I think is that we'll see the Autobots interacting more with this dinosaur Transformers because at the end of Transformers 4 we already saw the Autobots how they fought with um, how they fought with the tr dinosaur Transformers and I think that every Autobot will have his own dinosaur Transformer and just um, we'll see how their relationship will increase and how they just start to interact more with them and we also have a first look on Bumblebee's Camaro obviously for this new movie Bumblebee has, has received a fresh new look we don't see um, Bumblebee transformed we only see the Camaro which was uh, customized by General Motors and I think this Camaro looks very cool I mean, I up to this point I liked every Camaro of um, Bumblebee, I think, because I think just Camaros uh, look very cool, um, apart from the very first one, this um, one of Transformers 1 at the beginning, um, yeah, this <laughs> didn't look very nice, but the other Camaros, I think they look just cool, and yes, this new and also this new Camaro looks amazing in my opinion so yes tell me what you guys think about this first information about Transformers the new Transformers tell me what you guys think about the new Camaro let me know your opinion in the comments and if you like this video hit the like button and to see all of my latest stuff as soon as it comes out just subscribe to this channel